Hey guys, it's your girl Shantae from Short and Sweet ENT, and we are with a legend, Mr. Peter Guns. How are you feeling today? Oh man, I'm feeling wonderful. Thank you, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm so happy to see that you're out here. We're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. How would you describe hip hop and what it means to you? Um, hip hop is everything. It's life to me. It, to me, and, and not just me, the world. You see the world follow the culture. Everybody from fashion to dance to TV shows, they use our lingo. They, they, the stuff that they used to frown upon. We shaped it in the world. It means a lot to me, and this means a lot to me. It's 50 years, and we in the Bronx where it started at. Absolutely, Boogie Dan Bronx. So right now, when you was growing up, who did you look up to to help you mold your career? Well, uh, my early influence is the Cold Crush Four. Uh, they, the Cold Crush Brothers in, uh, is my biggest influence in hip-hop. But along with them, you know, you got Flash and the Furious Five. You got the, uh, the Romantic Fantastic Five. So it's a lot. But then after that, you know, you go on to LL, Slick Rick, Big Daddy Kane, Rakim. Uh, you know, those are the guys that really, really uh, influenced me just as much as the early guys. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, I'm a KRS, huge... Karis One. I'm sorry, Karis One. Yeah. Well, I'm a huge advocate of um, social media and reality TV, and you are a legend in reality TV, Ooh. right? This is the legendary goat in reality TV. I come home and just to watch what's going on to Whoa. de-stress, it right? But how would you balance out your career and your, and your family? How, how did you navigate that? That was hard to navigate because it was my reality and the world was hating me. You know, this dude is out here moving crazy. So it was hard. I had to live with that in, in, in real life and my family had to live with it. But you know, I went into it with good intentions. It was no, there was no bad intent. It was no malice intended, but it went left. But uh, you know, the goal is not how you start out, it's how you finish. So let's see how things finish. Yes, amen. The goal is not how you start, but it's how you finish. So my last question is, um, when we talk about hip hop and what you have now, what would you say to the younger generation that's coming up? Uh, do something different. Don't get out here mumbling, singing drill rap, and smoking a dude that died from your own race. Young black men, please. It's, it's disgusting. Get more back into the music. Get more back into telling stories. When we was rhyming, we was telling stories. People be like, yo, guns, but you was talking about shooting and shit. Yeah, we was talking about what we saw. Y'all actually out here. And, and, and just be more original. I want something original that I could love. Everybody sound the same and looks the same. Let's get back to the origin, original. Well, you heard it first. Be original. Be out here for this younger generation. Stop killing each other. I love you, my little brother. Stop it, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it hurts. It's, it hurts me. It hurts me. It hurts. Yeah. Well, I definitely think that when people like you come out and speak to the youth and be there, you are a prime example of how you get through life. So thank you so much.